Yo, yo, so another episode of the Most Most Reckless Football Show. Here is the quick news for this week. First of all, the English players and captains decided to come together and give four million pounds to the NHS. Shout out to them for being good lads. Um, Jurgen Klopp, Norbit, as we like to call him now, Norbit thought that um, Sadio Mane looked like a rapper. And the last news, but not least, everyone is broke and Corona is going to ruin the thing if people do not recognize it. And also, I'll be kind of sad if I don't mention it, Netherlands and Germany, they want to bring their leagues back soon. Think next month for Germany and June for Netherlands, so they're wild. More classic games for your head top. Let's start off with a war. Yes, if they're gonna call your match the Battle of Nuremberg, which happened in 1945, then clearly there was some violence. We're not talking about 1945, we're talking about 2006 World Cup. It was Portugal and Netherlands. And that game was so violent that they decided to call it the Battle of Nuremberg too. Which basically, yeah, if you're that violent, something's gotta happen. Coach, take it away and tell us what happened in that game. Well, in terms of stats, there was um, 76 red cards. Um, 184 yellow cards. Um, let's actually see how many shots there were. Zero. There was actually zero shots, ironically, in the war. But there was 296 uh, slide tackles, which is pretty, pretty impressive. I mean, you got, that was just the first half, essentially, yeah. I mean, I don't think they could, I think they, they the recorder at the time must have been broken because, yeah, after that, it just became silly. I mean, you've got both teams sporting players like Figo, Deco, Ronaldo, Robin, Van Persie, uh, Schneider. Quality players, but they decided, you know what, today we're just going to kick the hell out of each other. And that's essentially what happened. I mean, most players spent an average of about roughly 7.6 feet in the air from the sheer force of being kicked by another player, it was it was pretty violent. If you if you go, on, I don't think you can find it on YouTube to be honest, because it is pretty violent. So you might have to go to the dark web to find that. Bitchy, that's a sending off offence in its own right. Yeah, I mean, long story short, the Battle of Nuremberg 2006 was one of the most violent games. Like, literally, there was about, I'm trying to read it now. Do you know who, do we, do we not even know who won that game? Who even won the game? I think Portugal did 1 0, I think. But let, let me, let's be realistic. Like, hold on, I'm going to give you guys some stats. There was a World Cup record, four red cards, and 16 yellow cards. That was the most ever in a FIFA tournament. How can you get 16 yellow cards and four red cards in the game? Like, what are you even doing? I mean, this is what happens when you have players like Van Bommel, De Jong, and Caliburus just all playing. Like, what, what do you expect? And like... Violence! Fab, they're just... Everyone was just violent. Like, literally, it was... You know what? Let's, let's just go to the second game, which also happened in 2006 World Cup. That was Germany and Argentina, which was... I mean, so many classic players. I mean, Messi was on the bench, Tevez was on the bench, Michael Bellack was on the pitch. I mean... So many classic. You're talking about Raquel Me, who for the for the second time in about roughly two months, Jens Lehmann broke his heart. Yep. Which is pretty sad. Uh, I mean, everyone remembers in 2006, his penalty was saved in the semi-final of the Champions League. And then what happens in a penalty shootout? He couldn't even make it to the penalty shootout. He was substituted like in the 70th minute, or something like that. Yep. And then. Lehman decides to troll again and just send send Argentina home. I mean, if there's anybody that you know deserves to be ducked down with a cattle prod around a car park, it's probably Jens Lehman in 2006. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the game was kind of sad, but the biggest takeaway from that game, besides all the quality ballers, Michael Ballack is a man, and he deserves all of his flowers. What a footballer Michael Ballack is. Like they also fought as well. I mean, there was only um, 86 red cards in that game, but yeah, they also fought. and it all came after the match as well. But yeah, there was nowhere near like the the Battle of Nuremberg. Yeah. And the last game, you know, we talked about some wars. Let's talk about some victories and some that makes me as a United fan. Oh, I'm just getting excited. It's almost like it was from looking at King Magazine in 2004. It was so beautiful. War? He said war. That was more of a slaughter. But take it away. Yeah. Um, so basically, Tottenham 2001, May United. Um, Tottenham were up 3-0 at halftime. One, two, three goals. Another end score was 
5-3. Um, United basically, at halftime, the story goes that Ferguson looked at the players and said, what did Ferguson say again? He basically told them, he just he told them go out there and win the game. Those are his words. He said go out there and win the game, and well, they went out there and won the game. Yep, and that's really what happened. It was it was a beautiful, beautiful thing because as a United fan, you get to realize that Tottenham are just unserious and they're not a good team, and that's really sums them up. You know, United just looked at them and said, "This is Tottenham, and let's just get it." And I mean, conceding conceding five goals in one half of football after being three 0 up being at home if you can't get any more Tottenham than that then I don't want to know I, I just don't want to know because and Beckham's goal kind of summed everything up just pure class just pure beauty and that's that yeah even Laurent Blanc scored and Van Veron so yeah that's uh, oh and last thing before we finish it just come to my head again they said that Mikel Severus was put on to inject pace <laughs> that's how we're going to end it right there you guys take it easy peace take your shirt off